Now we're going to spend the rest of this program playing Hindemith's most famous masterpiece, his beautiful symphony, Matis der Mahler, which is the model of all Hindemithian sound, which has in it all the things we've talked about, tenderness, joy, vigor, and cross-relations, and bitonality, and much more. I think after we play this symphony, you'll understand what I mean when I say he was a great German composer. A Matis der Mahler in English means Matis the painter, and this title refers to the painter Matis Grünwald, a very famous German painter who lived and worked way back in the early 16th century. Now, Hindemith wrote a long, dramatic opera about him, an opera, not a symphony. And one of the reasons that Hindemith was so attracted to this subject was the struggle Hindemith himself was having with the Nazi government of Germany. You see, Ma Matthias Grünwald had also had such a struggle 400 years earlier when he found himself caught up in the religious wars between the Protestant peasants and the Catholic nobles. He was torn between two loyalties. He was also torn between his sense of beauty as an artist and his sense of duty as a citizen. Now, which is more important at a time of war and crisis and bloodshed? To take part in the struggle, to give your life to the cause, or to stay home and paint your pictures? And this was exactly the problem that Hindemith himself was facing in the early 1930s. Should a composer just go on writing his wind quintets and string quartet and piano sonatas <coughs> while the Nazis are turning his country into an armed prison camp, or should he stand up and fight? Should he knuckle under and write the kind of music the government commands him to write, or should he stick to his principles? Uh, you're all too young to remember, but in those days, the Nazis were burning books by the thousands, suppressing freedom on all sides, and locking up anyone who didn't agree with their insane theories. And here was Hindemith, free, creative soul in a country where he couldn't be free. He didn't agree with the Nazi theories, and the Nazis certainly didn't agree with his music. So this opera about Matisse the painter was his way of protesting, and in it he solved Grünwald's problem as well as his own by deciding that an artist is also a citizen and a fighter, only his way of fighting is by practicing his art by creating beauty in his own way, even if it means leaving his country forever, which Hindemith finally did in 1938.